How's it going? This is Data Coach Alex, and welcome to Alteryx 2-Minute Tools. Most in-database workflows are going to start with one or more Connect NDB tool. This allows us to connect directly to underlying databases and run queries within the data server, as opposed to locally on our machine. Here, we will add a Connect NDB tool from the in-database menu to our workflow building space. On the configuration menu, select the caret drop-down under Connection Name section. When setting up a new connection for the first time, select Manage Connections. Otherwise, your connection will likely show within the drop-down that it can be selected here. From the Data Source drop-down, select the type of database you want to connect to. We'll be connecting to Snowflake here. You can again select an existing connection that you've already created or, like in this case, we'll create a new one by selecting the New button. Name your new connection in the Connection Name section. Select the type of driver that we're going to use. Some server types have multiple options, while others will only have a single option. These correspond to the drivers that you will use to connect on your computer. Here we will be using an ODBC connection. Now like with the standard input data tool, set up your connection string. Select the caret dropdown and select a new database connection. If you have not previously set up the driver on your computer for the corresponding server connection, you will need to select ODBC Admin. If the driver you want shows up under User DSN or System DSN, you're all set. If it does not, you will need to click Add and set up a new ODBC connection. Select the driver connection from the data source name dropdown. Depending on how you set up your connection, you may or may not need to add a username and password here. Note that it never hurts to add a name and password. In database tools often write temporary files to the underlying databases. Because of this, you need to set up a write setting as well. Select the Write tab. Select the driver type and connection. Often, you can use the connection settings that you set up on the Read tab. Select the table you would like to connect to. You can do this via Table Names, the Visual Query Builder, Stored Procedures, though this doesn't exist for all databases, Snowflake included, and finally, the SQL Editor. Then you're all set to go and create your in-database workflows. As always, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the Data Coach channel for more awesome lessons on Alteryx and all things data, analytics, and visualizations. Follow Data Coach on Twitter at AskTessellation and follow me personally on Twitter at Abracadata89. Thanks again.